Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Kaba Ilko part number SC1246. Key blank, just trying to get the camera to cooperate and focus for us on the bow of that key blank. SC1246. Okay. This is a nickel silver key that has a brass. Um, plating over it. Brass is nice because it looks like a brass key blank, except it's better because it's made of nickel silver, a more durable uh, base material uh, over brass. Keys are made of lots of different base materials like, well, aluminum. Keys were made of uh, once upon a time. German silver, which they call nickel silver. Brass, steel, stainless steel, plastic. Um, whatever else I you know um, drawing a blank there but uh, a nickel silver key that has a brass color on it and I think the reason they do that is because the originals from Schlage are going to be brass this is a, uh, a meant to be a copy of that key blank um, this was at one time certainly a, a restricted sort of key blank and, and is still a restricted key blank in the sense that to purchase this keyway from Schlage would require a letter of authorization. Uh, also, and, and that's certainly not an issue, I don't think, um, but probably the multiple of 50 would be required to purchase from Schlage. The um, Kaba blank you can buy in any quantity you want. You want one by one. Kaba Ilko obviously determined there was enough uh, viability in the marketplace to actually manufacture this key blank, so here it is. This is a six pin length blade. I'll give you a couple of basic dimensions. The blade height, 0.34 inch, 0.34. The shoulder stop to the tip of the blank, we can kind of look at that for you, just give you a fairly close idea of what that is. I would say we're right at 1.2 inch. 1.2 inch is the length of that blade. Okay. SC1246 is the keyway. Now there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page that will get us to the Kaba Ilko key blank catalog and let's switch to the screen view right now so we can take a look at that catalog together. So this is the key blank that we are looking at here and over here is where we're going to see the link to the manufacturer's page. Well when we click that we're going to get to this page as links on it. Uh, we'll go over those links in a moment, but the key blank catalog is the link we're looking for, key blank catalog. And when that comes up, that's going to allow us to see the Cobb Ilko key blank catalog. Well, we're looking for the SC1246, and if you just did a find function on your uh, keyboard, you're going to get to the page where you can see the SC1246 and the other um, protected keyways from Schleg. I don't know the lineage of these keyways, but they are certainly several decades old. They very likely could be mid-century, um, would be my guess. The SC1246 is a... Um, I'm tempted to say that that is a... at least a multi-section blank. Um, here's what I mean. Let's rotate this and take a look. Okay, so just have that rotated uh, a little bit. So what we're looking at here is... I am sorry. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the cross-section of these different keyways. Now, as I'm talking about a multi-section key blank, and we're looking at the SC1246, a little bit of um, explanation is required. These profiles that we are looking at, that is the broaching in the cylinder. Okay, that is not what the profile looks like on the key when you look at the key from your tip towards the bow. This is what it looks like when you're looking down into the cylinder. So if you're looking at the key itself, in your mind's eye, you'll have to flip that image over 
and um, try to justify whether or not you've got the right key blank. The reason I say multi-section, or it could be all section, this dark area is the prep in the cylinder plug again. You'll notice that it has these, um, these would be wards. This white area would be a ward in the, uh, a ward, ward, ward in the cylinder plug itself. But this, this cylinder plug is representative of what this key blank looks like. Well, all this area is all opened up. So in your mind's eye, I have a feeling that all of these blanks would pass a plug like this if it existed. But it doesn't exist if it's a multi-section or an all-section blank, meaning this is what the key blank looks like in reverse if you're looking at it from the tip, which means because that key blank is milled smaller, it may... Well, actually, no, I don't think it is multi-section or all-section. Because the key blank actually has all of this profile to it. Okay? So, no, it wouldn't be multi-section. However, you can see that the warding in the cylinder is much larger here. So, in reverse order, a key blank... And I don't have the directory tree for this at all, but it's possible that this key blank may pass this cylinder. And Schlag doesn't really publish this stuff because they are protected keyways um, where you do have to at least um, declare who you are, where the key blanks are going to, uh, and do that via, via written uh, proposal to the manufacturer before they'll ship. So I don't have... You know they're not they're not openly sharing the uh, information on these key blanks like they will like they do obviously when we're dealing with on the very next page of the catalog your ubiquitous C Schlage C five pin keyway or your six pin C keyway okay now um, this is from page sixty four of section two of the catalog this catalog is a five hundred page document incredibly incredibly helpful um, and what I mean is, by that is this let's say you're looking for this SC 1246 well you can search 1246 in the document and it's going to show up in a couple of places obviously here uh, but then it's going to show up in the cross-reference section at the end of the catalog so if you happen to have a, an original blank by Schlag 1246-6 well that's the ILCO number SC 1246 the point of the matter is you can go from different manufacturers. It's alphabetical, so here's Sargent. If we keep scrolling up, we're going to get to you know, other, other lock manufacturers that are here. Um, other key blank manufacturers as well. Orion, is, and they're associated with Cabo Ilco. Orion, uh, Jet, Curtis, Dominion, Taylor, all these other manufacturers of key blanks. So the cross-reference, if you had an, if you had a JET part number and you needed to know the ILCO part number, you could just search this document. Makes it very handy, very useful, uh, a very useful document. Uh, the balance of the information that's on this page as well will be the important information. Their brass cylinder manual, that's an incredibly uh, helpful document if you're looking for information on Kaba Ilko's mortise cylinders, their rim cylinders, if you're looking for information on their key and knob, key and lever, their deadbolt cylinders, that's all listed here. Storefront hardware is also here as well. They have lock bodies and pivot sets that go with that material. The only thing I wish that they did in this catalog was have a lot more images happening uh, to see what some of their stuff looks like. Uh, the key machines are listed in this area and other places. Uh, for fun, we have some archival catalogs. I have a Ilco catalog from 1950, which is here. So if you're interested to know, and I would recommend that you, uh, before you uh, just try to open that document, that you probably do a file save as on your local machine and download it, because that that, that's a pretty unwieldy uh, sized document. 
Uh, it's hundreds of megabytes long because it's scanned at a very high resolution. It's for fun. If you wanted to see what key blanks look like in mid-20th century, here's your catalog to do so. Okay. This section of our site is ever-growing. Uh, there's also a 1972 catalog. It's a little hobby that we have. I uh, like to archive and make available to all other people uh, the history of the catalogs of manufacturers that we all deal with. Again, a very large document, this 1972 catalog, so it'll take some time to download. We won't wait for that to happen naturally. Um, let's finish up this video on camera. Now, in conclusion, the name Kaba Ilko is quite synonymous with very high quality key blanks. I'm partial to them as well. It's because they are they're really no nonsense. They make a great quality product, a great price, especially their rim cylinders and their mortise cylinders. Um, they have a couple of different key ways that they can offer that material in, and you really never have a reason to go OEM unless you need to for a key way that Kaba Ilko can't, doesn't manufacture or make available. I have a contact at the factory regarding cylinders. He indulges me with my several constant and many questions, and to him I say thank you very much. If you have any questions on the SC1246 key blank or any other any other uh, Kaba Ilko product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.